Hey everybody! We are going to check out something to automate your life a little bit, especially if you have repetitive office tasks. So this is um, this kind of program is known as a text expander. It's got a really cool name. Beef text! Yeah. Beef text. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. We are going to, to uh, go to beeftext.org. And I just downloaded the portable edition. That's so that it doesn't go through an install process. It just runs from an exe file. So it's going to save as a... Let's see. Downloads. It's going to save as a compressed folder. And you can extract all... There you go. Go back and find the folder that you've extracted. Yeah, it's right on. You just open this .exe file. This is open source soft software, so the uh, likelihood of it having malware or something like that is not likely at all, really, because it's, the code is audited. Okay, so a couple explanations first. Groups means, uh, so what this is, let me start here. Under combos, you're gonna find snippets. Snippets are like what you would want to uh, type repetitively, but you're gonna save yourself by coming up with a keyword or a shortcut. And so, let's say if you have like one set of programs that you wanna have one set of shortcuts with, or keywords, to type a whole snippet, then you would uh, put that into one group. I don't, I don't really have that much. We're just gonna do we're going to come up with some super funny stuff, so you better hang out for this comic genius that we're going to do. You saw me just install it. We're going to come up with it right now. Um, all right, so the snippet is, I had too much breakfast. Right. To do that, um, it's going to be in your interest to come up with a keyword that uh, is a set of letters or characters that you wouldn't commonly type. So, uh, GGG, right? Breakfast, uh, you know, you can even take the, uh, you could think about taking the vowels out of a word. And, uh, so first three uh, consonants of breakfast, BRK. Click OK. Uh, we're going to come up with some other ones and we're going to do this circuit of things. Uh, my name is Bob Thompson. That's my alias. If anyone ever wants to find me, so. BBT! Alright. Uh, notice some other settings are case sensitivity. Uh, some office workers, uh, it's, so, sometimes uh, I've seen them where they keep their caps lock on, so uh, I, you can make it sensitive to just the cap letters or what do you want case insensitive even would be fine okay now we're going to come up with something kind of cool uh so we're going to do the curly bracket excuse me uh number sign curly bracket um clipboard close the curly bracket ate my lunch And this could be like a pace, you know, so we could do VVV. You can come up with whatever keyword you want. Keywords are the shortcuts. I hope this works. I really hope this works. So, um, next snippet, we're going to insert the date. So, we're going to do number sign, uh, curl, open up the curly bracket, um, date with a lowercase. And then we're gonna do burn, burn. That should work. <laughs> Keyword is DDD. Oh, and you wrestling fans are gonna like this one. So we're gonna do. Uh, I'm trying to remember these from yesterday, but open up the number sign. Open up the curly bracket. Then uh, lowercase date. Capital T on the word time, 
close the curly bracket. So the wrestling fans like DDT. Dude, it would be so cool if this worked, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to... So really, it's you don't have to hit uh, save or anything necessarily because this is up and running and you can find it in the system tray and you can see the window up, then uh, it's working. I'm going to do something cool. I'm going to just copy this because we're going to use the clipboard some. And I might have to remind myself of the things, but let's see here. VV. Beef text ate my lunch. Right? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's search for the DDT. DDD. Okay, date. Uh, it's also got a really cool feature. You can look at the formatting. But if let's say you always want yesterday as the date, you can do a, a minus D, um, and then it, it, it's something to the effect. No, there's some other brackets involved, but you can do like a minus D, and it will always be yesterday that you get in. Okay, well those were the. Oh, we've not done the clipboard, have we? Have we? Okay. Uh, so we're gonna find a word file we're gonna do a text file or something like that and we want to repetitively name text file or something uh, so we do DDD DDT no we did we did the paste okay so let's do uh, yeah let's do a text file with the date DDD cool right and what was DDT it was the time wasn't it Maybe another one DDT okay that one did contain a character uh, it, it had a colon in it and so that didn't work for a file name but it worked as you can see DDT so it shows it here this is February 12th that is today's uh, date and time okay uh, what else we got we had another stupid one okay we had BRK and we had BBT BRK BBT for the win from memory oh my gosh okay if you like these stupid videos um, I you know and so I just did this like during the time that you saw me however um, and so I, I kinda had a custom use case I developed about uh, 15 of these in about an hour and so it wasn't too hard to get acquainted to. I had to play around with the, uh, the the date because what I did, I just formatted the date to have the uh, the month and the year, and then someone could enter the date real quick because the date was going to be variable. Um, but but yeah, it's pretty fun. Check out Beef Text, and uh, we'll catch you later.